Hi everyone, it's so nice to see you once again. Welcome back to my channel. Mahatma Gandhi, Gandhiji, or beloved Gandhi, who really spearheaded India's getting independence from the British, once said, live as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you were to live forever. Live as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you were to live forever. So what if we were to live today as if we were going to die tomorrow and live each day as if it was our last? How would we make each moment of the day count? Would we do things differently? Would we smile to people we never smiled before? Would we go up to people with whom we have had disagreements or got upset with or maybe haven't spoken with for years and say we are sorry, build that friendship again, apologize, for, for things that we have done wrong. Maybe even if we still believe the other person did something wrong, it doesn't matter. If today is our last day, we would like to make amends, isn't it? Like to build those bridges uh, one last time because we won't have an opportunity again. What about telling the people that we really love, that we love them? When is the last time we have done something like this? When is the last time you have gone up to your father or your mother and said, I love you? Thank you so much for all the awesome, wonderful things you have done for me. When is the last time, if you are married, you have gone up to your spouse and said, Darling, thank you for all the things that you have done for me. It's probably been a while, isn't it? For some of us, it may have not happened at all. Because sometimes we take things for granted. And the people closest to us, we take for granted the most, isn't it, sometimes? So if today was our last day, last day on the planet, we'll try to make it count. We'll try to build any bridges we can. We'll try to right any wrongs that have happened before us. We'll try to smile more. We might try to help someone more. We might spend a little bit more time in quiet reflection, trying to connect to the divine because it's our last day. It's our last day. So it would be different, isn't it? We'll definitely be kinder. We'll definitely be warmer. We will definitely want to make something, do something really special if it was our last day. Now think, if we lived every day like that, as if it was our last day, wouldn't the way that we live our lives be entirely different to what we are doing right now? If today is my last day, I'm definitely going to live it differently, isn't it? What if I can think that every day could be my last day? And actually it could, because life is so uncertain. We do not know when we will depart this world. I know it sounds a bit morbid, isn't it? But it's true. If we live each day as if it is our last, then absolutely no regrets because we make every single moment count. So let's try to do that, you and me. Do you agree with me? Do you think this makes sense? Live each day as if it was your last. Make each day count. Each day is going to be so much more special then. And it's, it's really going to be wonderful. Just try it for a week. Try it for 10 days. See the change that it makes in your life. See the change it makes in lives of people around you. See what people start to say. See what people start to feel. See what you start to feel. And it's going to be really awesome. And the second part of Gandhi's statement. Learn as if you were to live forever. Learn as if you were to live forever. So lifelong learning, especially today when things are changing so rapidly, if we do not keep pace with, with new things that are coming out, with new learnings, what happens is each day we actually keep taking steps backwards. We keep moving backwards in terms of the knowledge that is there and the knowledge that we have. So just to keep pace with the development, with the new knowledge that is happening out there, we need to learn a lot each day. Like there's more printed today. There's more knowledge coming out each hour, each day today. In probably the last 300, 400 years of human existence, there is so much more happening. Of course, we, we need to decide what we are going to learn because there is a lot of stuff out there. Not everything is equally important, but learn as if you were to live forever. They say that lots of people today don't even read one book a year. One book a year. And, and why is that? Because they find reading is boring. But there are ways that you can make your reading interesting. There are ways that you can increase your focus while reading. And when you increase your focus, it becomes more interesting because we get rid of distractions. 
It's not boring anymore. And then we start reading at brain friendly speeds, at speeds that are friendly to our brain. And there's a program I actually do called Lightning Reading, which helps you to do exactly that. If you're interested in that, you know whom to contact, right? You want to read more in less time, with more focus, with more understanding, with more retention, and with zero distractions. Well, that's what this fantastic skill can do for you. So that's something else. But with or without lightning reading, we have to learn. We have to keep reading. Recently, I was reading a book where it said that uh, former U.S. president many, many years ago, Teddy Roosevelt, he was a voracious reader. He, he was reading so much. And even on the day that he died, they found a book under his pillow. <laughs> so learn as if you were to live forever. He really did that. He really showed that even on his last day, he was still reading. Recently, I watched a lovely Netflix documentary about Bill Gates and how he's, how he's working hard um, to make people's lives better, trying to eradicate malaria and, and stuff like that. And they showed Bill Gates, wherever he goes, he carries a little cloth bag with him. Not, not little, actually, about that size. Do you know what's in this bag? It's about six or seven of the books that he's reading right at this moment. Right at this moment. So he's carrying his books with him <laughs> because reading is so important to him. They say leaders are readers and readers, of course, become leaders. So like Mahatma Gandhi said, learn as if you were to live forever. Learning never stops. Learning is not about getting a qualification. Learning is not about having some letters after your name. That is education. Learning is what we take in, is what we understand, is how we keep growing. So I'm learning every day. I'm learning every day. I'm not studying for exams anymore, but I'm learning every day. There are lots of people who, are, who have a lot of qualifications, who have studied a lot. They have the qualification, but not the learning because they have just studied enough to pass the exam. But where is the learning? Can we apply what we learned to our work, to our lives, to the people around us? That is true learning. So. Learn as if you were to live forever. Live each day as if you were to die tomorrow or live each day as if it was your last. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you at the next one. Stay safe and stay blessed.